Hello, my friends. Happy Easter. Hippity, hoppity, Easter Benny's on his way. The Easter Benny's on his way. I'm the Easter Benny today. Sunday, fun day, $19.99. All picks today. We have early MLB for sure. And that's it. That's it. You feel me? That's all we're doing. We're going to enjoy this Easter holiday. I'm looking like Easter Sunday, baby. I get to say that. Hey, I look like Easter freaking Sunday, baby. Penny here, ghostpicksats.com, the number one sports consultant in the business. Sunday, April 9th, is it? Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday. We're going Sunday, fun day, $19.99. That's it. How about Izzy? Let's talk about Izzy. Izzy is champ. Izzy is champ. How about UFC 287? Huge fights, big knockouts, unexpected stuff. This event was not my best event as for me, but like there's huge Awesome. There was awesome fights. Are like I can't I can't argue how awesome the event was. You know, but to me UFC is arguably the best sport in the world. Really, truly, holy cow, just amazing. Izzy remains champ. If you have not seen the knockout yet, if you have not seen Israel Adesanya knockout Alex Pereira yet, I recommend watching it. I do. I recommend watching Rob Font's knockout. There were so many crazy, there were crazy knockouts. It was crazy. It was beautiful. Beautiful. I was on that Rob Font under. Rob Font knocked him right out. Actually, right, yeah. Free plays are in a little bit of a slump right now. Three-day slump, uh, which we hope to get bounced back today. Um, Got to bounce back today on the free plays. You feel me? You feel me? If you're new to my page, welcome. Take a second out of your day. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Tap the bell right next to you. Get my video as soon as they pop up. Follow me along over on Twitter as well, at Benny Bistro. Most importantly, thumbs up in the video. They help me. And share the video. Let's get those thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up today. So I went to the Phillies game yesterday. It was my first game of the year. It was opening weekend in Philadelphia. If you remember me and Jim Dog were at the World Series last year. That was my last game that I had gone to. Yesterday was my first game that I had gone to. I nearly took... My Saturday afternoon nap at the stadium because it was boring for a while. I took the Reds right here on the tube. You want to talk about free play slump? Three days, um, which is not, we've been crushing our. If you look at it in the grand scheme of things, we've been crushing our free plays every freaking day. So, yeah, we're in a little bit of a snag. Um, but I took the Reds right here on YouTube. Reds hit an early home run off Bailey Falter. First inning, I believe his second batter, first pitch, Jack, gone. Boom. So I was thinking, okay, you know, you know, and then that was it. Ladolo was beautiful. I'm telling you, I almost took my Saturday afternoon nap right in Citizen Bank ballpark. Then the Reds scored on, I think that's the top of the eighth. They drove in another run. Reds were bunting. The Reds had four or five bunts. I feel like they knew something. I, I Alec Baum is not the normal first baseman. We know that. I, they were Reds knew something, but they laid a lot of bunts yesterday. I want I want to see if other teams are going to do that against Philadelphia. Um, so since he's up two nothing, bottom of the ninth, Phillies come alive and the Reds collapse. Like when I was watching it at the stadium, you felt feel it, you felt the stadium come alive first off. And uh, I, you, like I felt it. I saw it. I, I knew it was going to happen. After they drove in the first run, I knew it was going to happen. Cincinnati was in, in trouble. They, they were in trouble. They let it ride with the pitcher that they had out there. They, and they were in trouble. I felt it. I saw it. You know, I and I, I, the, I saw the collapse right before my very eyes. And I think it was Stott who hit it in the final run. Phillies end up winning by one. So it turned out to be a very exciting game at the end. But up until then, it was, poof. I think Lodolo had set, uh, 11 strikeouts. But uh, congrats to Phillies. Shame on you, Benny. couple shout outs today, though, with that win. Uh, Bo Dunn, first of all, on Israel Adesanya, minus 135. That's a good shout out. Uh, one shout out. Probably the best shout out I have today, Victor Perez, Adesanya, Mets minus one and a half, Rays minus two and a half. Victor Perez, you are my shout out of the day. And I want to shout out David Talk on the Phillies money line and the Arizona Coyotes. But I select David on the Phillies money line because the to me the bet looked dead. Like I, I I took Cincinnati 
I thought we I was winning that bet, hundred percent. You know, I really did. The way the Philly, the, like, so the Phillies, if you're on the Phillies, it looked dead to me. You know, they were awful. Josh Harrison just looked horrible up there. Trey Turner, who was a baller, he looked awful up there. Lodolo was really wheeling and dealing. Do not sleep on Lodolo this year for Cincinnati. But yeah, the Phillies just looked dead. Schwarber, dead. I will say this. Phillies had some nice plays in the infield, though, I thought. But the bats were dead. And then all of a sudden, when you think you're going to lose that bet, then bam, Phillies make it happen. Bottom of the ninth. Nice win. Nice win, David. You are my shout out. So uh, Victor Perez, David uh, Talk, and Bodon Sports, you're my shout out of the day. Today, hit me with an Easter Sunday lock. Tell me your lock. Tell me your top bet for Easter Sunday. Sunday fun day. $19.99 pinned right here to the top of the uh, comments. Yesterday in baseball, I had a great, a good day in baseball yet again, right? Rays minus one and a, one and a half. Rays are hot. Twins money line winner. Lost Dodgers. Went two and one in baseball. Soccer killed me this weekend. Lost soccer this weekend. Chelsea been doing me dirty. Brentford, Newcastle under two and a half. And then I lost the Lightning and I lost the Clippers. And then UFC, how about uh, Raul Rojas? You know, in UFC too. Boy, did he fight sloppy, man. He ruined my parlay. I did take Pereira last night. I had a winner on Gastelum, winner on Pfeiffer under one and a half, lost Watterson Gomez. It was a plus money, you know. But, to, uh, you know, that turned out to be my day yesterday. And right now, we're going to go right into free play. All right. I don't want to hold you hostage, uh, hostage on Easter. We're going 3 10 p.m. Eastern Time, Washington Nationals at the Colorado Rockies. Free play today. We're going to take Nationals Rockies over 11 and a half. Let's see if Coors Field could get us out of this little three day snag. You know what I mean? Yesterday was a seven to six ball game. Obviously, the totals are jacked at Coors Field. Both teams are three and six. Both teams trend toward the over, right? But. It's different at Coors Field. Obviously, the totals are jacked. Chad Cole is pitching today. He got touched up his first outing against the Rays, but he ended up with a no decision. We know the Nationals are struggling. They are rebuilding, right? They had the that World Series run a couple years ago, probably five years ago now. I don't even know. Uh, you know, they kind of kept the guys together. Then this past year, they totally disbanded. They were to get rid of guys little by little, but then they totally disbanded, got rid of their guys, almost all all at the same time, all the way down to Juan Soto. And it's rebuild time. I don't think we were ever really were expecting Washington to be good this year, you know? Ryan Feltner on the mound for the Rockies. He got smoked in his debut, but it was against the Dodgers. So here you have two pitchers who got roughed up their first time out this season. But then we factor in the bats. Cole was against the Rays, who are undefeated. Feltner was against the Dodgers, who are powerful. Now it's Rockies bats versus Nationals bats. That's a different story. Right? And I know Cole has struggled against the Rockies in his career. He has struggled at Coors Field as well. Right? It's, the total is going to be high here. 11 and a half. Both teams are still trending over. I'm going to go over. Free play of the day. Nationals, Rockies, over 11 and a half. Sunday, fun day, $19.99. And that's it. That's all we got for today. That's it. Enjoy your Easter. As always, good luck. God bless. Grind on, baby. Cheers.